The man in the middle is considered one of Afghanistan's most powerful politicians, but Hani Fatmar is no longer the national security advisor to President Ashraf Ghani and no longer a close ally. Whether it was talking to the Russians or helping his boss with the U.S. administration, Atmar has been with Ghani since 2014. His career began in the 1980s under the Soviet-backed government and continued in the security circles during Hamid Karzai's tenure. Facing a deteriorating security situation, President Ashraf Ghani has rejected further resignations from top security officials. That includes Vice Ahmad Barmak, the Interior Minister, the Spy Chief Masum Stanigzai, who heads the National Directorate of Security, and the Defence Minister Tariq Shah Bahrami. Afghanistan is scheduled to hold elections next year, and potential candidates will need to convince voters they can improve security. President Ghani want to counter this and make the situ improve the situation, but still there is a, a capacity matter, there is capacity problem, there is coordination problem. There, in order to make the situation improved, he have to uh, take some strict and tough decisions. Contrary to recent Pentagon briefings about Taliban being desperate and losing ground, the armed group has intensified its campaign in recent weeks. The Afghan government is under increasing pressure for failing to stop attacks. And as Taliban, as well as ISIL, carry out attacks, people want answers. We have no security, zero, zero security, because almost every day 30, 40 people are killed. You tell me, do we have security? I don't trust the government. Between when I sleep and when I wake up, there are a lot of changes in the government. How can we trust them? In the last four years, the changes in the government didn't help the country. The security situation is getting worse every day. If they're not capable of protecting us, they should tell us. On Tuesday, blasts were heard as President Ghani delivered a live speech to mark the beginning of Eid holidays. The Taliban was blamed for rockets fired at the presidential palace. Last month, the Taliban launched a brazen attack on the city of Ghazni. It ended after days of intense fighting, the killing of more than 100 people and wounding hundreds more. Going into an election year, the Afghan president faces a difficult challenge of carrying out security reforms while retaining an uneasy coalition of allies. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.